Hello and welcome to the first episode in my series on Earth's prehistory made easy. Today we will be discussing the Cambrian period. So the Cambrian period was the first geological period of the Paleozoic era which lasted 55.6 million years from the end of the prior Etikaran period, which was 541 million years ago, to the beginning of the Ordovician period, 485.4 million years ago. The Cambrian period was the beginning of a large change in life on Earth. Before the Cambrian, almost all life was very simple and unicellular. However, come the time of the Cambrian, we began to see for the first time more complex multicellular forms of life arise, and consequently, the new species that were evolving, often referred to as eumatozins, practically reinvented the rules of macroecology through their invention of multitrophic food webs, large body size, life history trade-offs, ecological succession, biogeography, major increases in standing biomass, eukaryote-dominated phytoplankton, and the potential for mass extinction. This rapid growth in the variety of life on Earth is often referred to as the Cambrian Explosion, because it produced the first creatures of all modern animal phyla, which can all be traced back to a single common ancestor. The majority of this complex life, however, lived in the ocean, with the only life on land being nothing more complex than soil crust and a few mollusk shells. This is most likely due to the lack of vegetation. Reconstructions of tectonic plates highly suggest to researchers that early in the Cambrian period, one of Earth's supercontinents, Panodia, was in the process of splitting up, starting with North America, Baltica, and Siberia all separating from the mainland to form their own isolated land masses. The vast majority of land was in the southern hemisphere of the Earth. However, during the early Cambrian, there was a northward migration of North America towards the equator as its separation from Baltica and Siberia increased, and a southward movement of Gondwanda Further analysis of the paleogeography of the Cambrian revealed that due to the warmth of the seas and the melting of the great glaciers of the Maronin snowball earth, there was mass flooding of Earth's continents, leaving bare warm, shallow water covering the majority of the planet, which was ideal for marine life at that time. Life in the Cambrian was blossoming. Probably one of the most well-known fossils of the Cambrian is the trilobite. Trilobites are one of the earliest known arthropods who existed from the early Cambrian all the way until the Permian extinction. By the time trilobites first appeared in the fossil record, they were already highly diversified and geographically spread out. Due to the fact that trilobites had a wide diversity as well as a hard exoskeleton, an extensive fossil record was left behind containing around 20,000 known species spanning the Paleozoic era. The study of these fossils has facilitated very important contributions to paleontology, evolutionary biology, and plate tectonics. Trilobites also had many lifestyles. Some evolved to roam the seabed as predators, some as scavengers, and some as filter feeders. Others swarm feeding on plankton. Most lifestyles of modern marine arthropods are seen in trilobites, except for parasitism. Many other species of aquatic life existed in the Cambrian, such as the protoprisma, which was a sponge-like creature, as well as another f quite famous species, Animalicaris. Animal Caris is thought to be one of the main predatory creatures of the Cambrian period because of many traits that it has, one of those being lobes on its side that act as a single fin which it would use to swim very quickly, efficiently, to try and keep up with the prey. Animal Caris is also... Uh, also had a large head, a single pair of large compound eyes on stalks comprising approximately 16,000 lenses, and an unusual disc-shaped mouth. The mouth was comprised of 32 overlapping plates, 4 large and 28 small, resembling a pineapple ring with the center replaced by a series of separated prongs. The mouth could constrict to crush prey, but never completely close, and the tooth-like prongs continued down the walls of the gullet. I could probably go on for hours talking about all the different creatures that existed during this amaz amazing period in Earth's prehistory, however that would take much too long. The story of the Cambrian period ended approximately 488 million years ago, 
One hypothesis of why the Cambrian extinction occurred is that when continental glaciation decreased global climactic conditions, this destroyed Cambrian fauna that are intolerant of cooler conditions, producing a mass extinction of mostly warm water species, including many brachiopods and condiments, as well as severely, severely reducing the number of trilobite species. Another such hypothesis is that the same outcome occurred due to oxygen depletion in marine waters. Whatever the reason, the Cambrian came to an end, and the Ordovician period was born. We will discuss this period at great length next time. Until then, stay curious.